guys, today we will be talking about the three ways to take better notes for your kinesiology and exercise science classes. Most of these classes will revolve around anatomy, physiology, and some sort of body mechanics. So throughout my four years, I have found that three, these three methods have been the most consistent in producing the best results. Before we begin, I want to point out that there are two main purposes to taking notes. The first purpose is to help you learn that material in the moment better. And the second purpose is to help you review that material later on. So you don't want to go into class and just mindlessly take notes, like writing down some key ideas or drawing whatever, because it's not really going to help you learn that stuff in the moment. You want to take notes to help you retain that information in that moment and then help you review that material later on. So let's get started. So the first method is annotating directly onto your slides. If your professor posts the slides before class, you can print it out about like six slides per page and write directly on it. Um, if you have an iPad, you can use GoodNotes or if you have a service book, you can use OneNote to directly annotate on it. Um, this method is really useful because it lets you keep up with the professor by following along with the slides without getting um, too far behind. And it lets you really annotate what's the most important thing or if the professor emphasizes something important or goes over a main idea multiple times you can definitely note it down without losing um, losing the professor during his uh, lecture the second method of taking notes would be to make flashcards directly in class if you have the time i'm using anki here i like anki because it gives you the option of after studying to rate how difficult the question was. So if it was really hard, you would go again in one minute. If it was okay, you would review in 10 minutes. And then if it was something that you already remembered and it was easy, you would review it again in four days. Um, other people use Quizlet. And you can, again, you can use just regular flashcards and pen and pencil if you don't have these apps. Um, both of them are free. I believe Anki is free on the desktop, but you might have to pay it if you want it on your phone. Quizly, I know, is free for both desktop and your phone. The third method of taking better notes would be to draw diagrams. Here I am using OneNote in this demonstration, but you can use whatever surface or app you have, or just pen or pencil. The idea is pretty simple. You just have to write down one idea that the professor mentions and it connect it to another idea. Um, so it could be A is a concept and this causes B, which relates to three different things. And you don't have to be super artistic. Um, I think it's just really fun and it's also really engaging and it helps you um, review better in the future. For this class, this was a virology class. I was reviewing a coronavirus. And I drew a, I tried to draw a, bo a bottle of corona to help me remember. Um, these are excellent in helping, um, especially with group reviews. So I always uh, appreciate that. Um, and yeah, that's it. Those are the three ways you can take better notes for your kinesiology and exercise science classes. Remember, um, the two main purposes of taking notes is to help you remember or help you learn that material in that moment and to help you review it later on. So those three methods have done the best job of doing that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, share, and subscribe.